we are summoning the demon. You know, you know all those stories where there's the guy with the pentagram and the holy water, and he's like, yeah, you sure you can control the demon. East CERN, the leading force in European nuclear research, has returned to the forefront with groundbreaking revelations that may transform our comprehension of the cosmos. A team of audacious physicists and technologists steering the world's most potent particle accelerator, the Large Hadron Collider, has stretched the boundaries of exploration beyond our wildest expectations. The essence of reality is unraveling as CERN heralds a new era in scientific inquiry. What might lie beyond the interdimensional threshold? And how will this breakthrough reshape our fundamental grasp of the universe? Join us on an interstellar journey with CERN, where the unimaginable becomes conceivable and the mysteries of existence unfold before our eyes. We delve into the depths of why CERN scientists claim to have opened a portal into another dimension. CERN, also known as the European Organization for Nuclear Research, is an intergovernmental organization comprising 23 member states. It is tasked with overseeing the largest particle physics laboratory globally. Its facility is situated in the northwestern suburb of Geneva, between the borders of France and Switzerland. Half of the world's particle scientists are employed at CERN, collaborating to achieve new feats in physics and astronomy. The organization manages the largest and most powerful particle collider, the Large Hadron Collider, LHC. Located nearly 100 meters underground, the Large Hadron Collider forms a 27-kilometer ring, housing a circular tunnel where beams of energy race around at almost the speed of light. The LHC emits a constant buzzing and humming, resembling a colossal scientific playground where remarkable discoveries occur regularly. It transcends the definition of an ordinary machine, pushing the boundaries of technology further than any other contemporary invention. The construction of the LHC required immense collaboration, planning, and precision. It involved over 10,000 scientists, billions of dollars, and engineers from 100 countries working together for two decades to bring this facility to fruition. The LHC's construction used thousands of magnets cryogenic equipment, and vacuum systems. The superconducting electromagnets contain 1,232 dipole magnets, 15 meters long, that steer two beams containing protons in opposite directions. These magnets operate at minus 271 degrees Celsius and generate magnetic fields 100,000 times stronger than the Earth's. The magnets are cooled to operating temperature using over 80 tons of liquid helium, making the LHC the largest cryogenic facility ever built. A global computing grid handles about 25 terabytes of data from collisions yearly. After a 50-year search, the ATLAS and CMS collaborations at the LHC announced in 2012 that they had observed the Higgs boson, also known as the God particle, which gives mass to all other fundamental particles and allows matter to merge and exist in the universe. Without the Higgs process, particles would be meaningless and our reality would be completely different. The discovery of the Higgs boson was the final missing piece in the standard model of particle physics. It concluded a half century of theoretical and experimental work. In 1964, Peter Higgs and his colleagues postulated the presence of this field and associated particles to explain how fundamental particles get mass. Particle accelerators could not generate the energies required to detect it, so the idea went unverified for nearly 50 years. Finally, in 2012, the intense collisions within the LHC produced discernible signs of the Higgs boson. Its discovery marked a turning point in physics, supporting a long-held idea regarding the origins of mass. As the latest in a series of ever-larger particle accelerators, the LHC explores the building blocks of matter with unprecedented power. Scientists at CERN now engage with cosmic forces, aiming to recreate the conditions immediately following the Big Bang. 
by accelerating protons to tremendous energies of 7 trillion electron volts and inducing collisions, the LHC generates temperatures 100,000 times greater than at the core of the Sun. This enables physicists to observe phenomena at the subatomic level, providing profound insights into particle physics and the standard model. The monumental undertaking at the LHC seeks to uncover evidence of new realms of physics beyond our current understanding. It is expected to shed light on the mysteries of the origin of our universe. The Large Hadron Collider boasts such immense power that scientists have successfully recreated conditions occurring a billionth of a second after the universe's inception. The primary objective of the LHC is mainly through the ALICE experiment. The idea is to replicate events dominant approximately 10 microseconds post the Big Bang. During this brief period, the entire universe existed as an intensely hot soup of quarks and gluons. As such, since the beginning of the experiment in 2008, the LHC has been instrumental in conducting experiments aimed at recreating the Big Bang. The pivotal concept is energy when talking about the Large Hadron Collider and physics experiments at such an advanced level. The objective is to replicate or approach the energies witnessed at the genesis of the Big Bang. During this cosmic event, released energy partially remained as energy, while a substantial portion transformed into matter. To understand the nature of this matter, scientists aim to deconstruct it. They collide particles, dissect them into constituent elements, and explore progressively smaller subatomic components. The energy required for such endeavors is monumental. Scientists plan to use the LHC to achieve this. Particle accelerators like the Large Hadron Collider can concentrate sufficient energy to briefly engage with these extra dimensions by colliding particles at speeds approaching that of light. The LHC has the potential to manifest hypothetical particles fleetingly as it operates at an astounding 99.9999991% of the speed of light. In July 2022, CERN embarked on its most significant experiment to date vigorously colliding proton trillions at nearly the speed of light within the LHC ring. The groundbreaking experiment was intended to deepen understanding of the Higgs boson and particle interactions. However, rumors suggested an alternate motive, an attempt to open a portal to another universe. As the particles raced around the LHC ring at a remarkable rate of 11,000 times per second, reports quickly surfaced of an anomaly Something had seemingly gone awry, releasing an unexplainable energy from the CERN perimeter. This alleged occurrence, now termed the Portal Incident, suggested that the space-time fabric had been altered. This makes the seemingly impossible possible by opening a portal. For 14 hours, the Earth's crucial geomagnetic field, which shielded us from solar radiation, was weakened. Solar wind passed through a gap torn open by CERN, causing fluctuations in the global electric grid. The worldwide LHC computing grid, which facilitates data storage for over 500,000 CPUs in 200 computer centers globally, also experienced an impact. Earth's geomagnetic field is vital for supporting life by protecting it from external threats. The incident involving cosmic radiation and other space-borne threats was short-lived, and the world's electrical grid swiftly returned to normal within a few hours. However, uncertainty envelops what transpired during that brief period, an unprecedented occurrence in human history. Various theories have emerged in response to the incident, some seemingly far-fetched, but others carrying scientific weight. Quantum physicist Max Lachlan, a 17-year-old prodigy acclaimed as the smartest kid globally, posits a provocative theory. He suggests that CERN's experiment may have altered the universe by creating a force that shifted particles between dimensions, forming an infinite loop. According to Lachlan, this action might have transported us from our current timeline to an alternate one. He supports his claim by discovering three new subatomic particles in the debris that were absent in any previous experiment. 
Other scientists entertained the possibility that CERN inadvertently opened a portal to an alternate universe. They believe this has allowed entities or substances from another dimension to cross into our reality. The unfolding events and their implications prompt ongoing scientific exploration. Many scientists are scrutinizing the intricacies of CERN's experiments and their potential impact on the fabric of our existence. A religious theory is also circulating. Demons could be one plausible explanation for the mysterious events surrounding CERN. Some assert that the Large Hadron Collider may have inadvertently opened a portal to Hell. Drawing parallels with the Book of Revelation 9 verse 2, which mentions a bottomless pit where angels who have sinned are cast, theorists speculate that the enigmatic energy released during the experiment might be connected to this abyss. The circular structure of the 7.2 kilometer Large Hadron Collider is even likened to the ring described in Revelation. This further fuels the belief that certain individuals within CERN might attempt to facilitate a demonic entrance into our world through the Collider. During the preparation phase, known as the Ramp, all systems within the LHC, from radio frequency cavities to magnets and collimators, are synchronized and readied for operation. This 20-minute ramp period gradually increases the beam's energy to an unprecedented 6.8 tera electron volts, setting a record for any particle accelerator. The July 7th incident has sparked fears that this endeavor may have succeeded, opening the proverbial bottomless pit described in Revelation. Speculations abound that it is a form of divine retribution for meddling with forces beyond human comprehension. The disruption of Earth's magnetic field raised more apprehensions. The discovery of new particles capable of transferring matter and potentially opening interdimensional portals during CERN's experiment also adds to the uncertainty. Whether CERN achieved its goal remains to be discovered as the organization has maintained a tight-lipped stance on the events. This further fueled suspicions of an otherworldly portal opening. The organization's silence has intensified speculations about the possible consequences of their experiments. Some even consider the explosion a significant revelation, prompting extensive studies to understand its implications. CERN, a highly secretive international agency, has consistently made headlines for its mind-bending experiments and breakthroughs. As an intergovernmental organization funded by 23 member states, its primary objective is to delve into particle physics and propel scientific knowledge forward. The upcoming third round of the Large Hadron Collider LHC, promises higher energy collisions, generating data equivalent to the total recorded in the previous two runs. This surge in data offers increased opportunities for discovery and a deeper understanding of the universe's fundamental laws. At its most fundamental level, CERN's primary objective is to delve into the universe's fundamental elements. It looks to thoroughly understand its mechanisms and unlock innovative capabilities, including the potential for time travel. Since its establishment in 1954, CERN has continuously pushed the limits of science and technology by developing sophisticated equipment to test diverse theories. This includes the creation of the 17-mile-long particle accelerator known as the Large Hadron Collider, LHC. While CERN presents itself on the surface as a prestigious government agency dedicated to bettering the world, a burning question persists. What if it conceals a secret agenda that has remained hidden from public view? CERN gained notoriety in 2016 in connection with the occult. During that time, Headlines emerged about footage allegedly depicting scientists engaging in human sacrifice at the Large Hadron Collider grounds. The video showed eerie figures in black robes performing ritualistic walks, leading to an apparent attack on a woman. Later, the organization explained it as a faked human sacrifice, labeling it a prank they did not endorse and asserting that it undermined the scientific nature of their work. Despite CERN dismissing the incident as a ruse, some Redditors and Internet theorists contend it is evidence of a hidden agenda. Coupled with the association with Lord Shiva, 
Many speculate that CERN might be attempting to open a portal into another dimension by tapping dark forces. Lord Shiva, representing the Destroyer of Worlds, is significant to the organization, evidenced by the presence of a life-size statue at their headquarters in Geneva, Switzerland. It is even alleged that human sacrifice occurred at the base of this life-size statue. Although the truth in these claims is uncertain, they add an intriguing layer to exploring CERN's capabilities. Turning our attention to the science behind the Large Hadron Collider, it is a particle accelerator that propels protons to near light speed. These accelerated protons then collide, generating subatomic particles for scientific study. The collisions unleash an enormous amount of energy, approximately 600 million times hotter than the center of the sun. Notably, the LHC is not solely a particle accelerator. Its capabilities as a time machine enable it to recreate conditions from fractions of a second after the Big Bang. This allows scientists to gain insights into the initial moments of our universe, potentially leading to a better understanding of enigmatic phenomena like dark matter and antimatter. It raises the prospect of unraveling cosmic mysteries. Some speculate that the Large Hadron Collider could create a portal by accelerating particles to such speeds that their collisions release massive energy, causing ripples in time and enabling matter to traverse between realities. Despite various theories, it is crucial to emphasize that CERN's experiments are conducted for scientific advancement and knowledge, not to open portals to other dimensions. The organization operates under stringent regulations, implementing safety protocols to ensure that experiments pose no harm. However, human nature fuels speculation and theorizing, awaiting definitive proof of the outcomes. CERN's experiments elicit diverse reactions, with many applauding them for pushing the boundaries of science, while others express concerns about tempting fate or unleashing uncontrollable forces. Renowned physicists, including Brian Cox, have played pivotal roles in CERN projects. Cox, a physicist known for his rock star status, brought attention to CERN's endeavors during a TEDx talk in 2008. He specifically delved into the Large Hadron Collider. Looking to understand the Big Bang, scientists aimed to examine the conditions and reactions occurring immediately after the universe's inception. They seek to understand the constituents of everything and the forces that bind them together. Clarifying the goal, Cox emphasized that particle physics endeavors, mainly through the Large Hadron Collider, are poised to unveil the mysteries of the universe. He also shed light on subjects like antimatter and dark matter. The LHC's colossal scale allows scientists to explore the origins of the Big Bang. While the Large Hadron Collider's magnificence raises concerns, it also prompts reflection on its far-reaching implications. In his talk, Cox explains that by recreating Big Bang conditions and searching for microscopic particles such as the Higgs boson, CERN validates Einstein's theory of matter and energy interchangeability. However, while holding potential for significant scientific breakthroughs, this pursuit introduces an unsettling prospect. Cox explains that CERN can potentially create little black holes. String theory states that elementary particles are not point-like, but minute vibrating string loops. These vibrations determine the characteristics of particles. Notably, string theory introduces the concept of extraspatial dimensions. At LHC energies, particles could fleetingly interact with these dimensions, and any deviations in behavior could be discerned. The existence of extra dimensions is occasionally modeled by quantum black holes. These small black holes would instantaneously evaporate in Hawking radiation if discovered at the LHC, supporting the quantum gravity theory. However, these black holes have potentially disastrous consequences if not carefully managed. CERN's aggressive experiments have stirred controversy from constructing a human-sized magnetic cage in 2014 to attempting data teleportation. The organization consistently pushes the limits of modern science and technology. However, apprehensions persist about the potential dangers of these endeavors. As long as CERN continues its enigmatic experiments, 
questions surrounding the secretive organization will persist. Will these experiments yield astonishing discoveries, or has CERN ventured into dangerous territory? Only time will reveal whether CERN's controversial pursuits lead to an era of marvels or one fraught with terror and destruction. The awareness that CERN is playing with powerful forces, evidenced in the July 7, 2022 incident, underscores the need for caution. One misstep could result in devastating consequences for humanity and the planet. Our best course of action is to diligently observe CERN and its experiments, hoping they exercise their technology and knowledge responsibly. The enigma surrounding the events of July 7th and the potential for the Large Hadron Collider to open portals persists, leaving us uncertain. Nevertheless, CERN researchers continue their exploration and express confidence in the safety of their ongoing work. Several professors and researchers have affirmed their trust in the Large Hadron Collider, LHC. The primary objective of the current Particle Accelerator run is to unravel the mysteries surrounding a potential fifth force of nature. The researchers are convinced of the existence of this enigmatic force and its discovery could revolutionize the field of particle physics. Additionally, the scientists aim to gather more insights into dark matter particles and ghost particles, known as neutrinos. Neutrinos resemble electrons but lack electric charge, and they are generated in the cores of stars. Looking ahead, CERN plans to enhance the Hadron Collider, improving collision energy, luminosity, and detector capabilities. The luminosity upgrade, initiated in 2018, is anticipated to conclude by 2027. Once completed, the upgraded particle collider will enable a more detailed examination of rare processes. The current run will conclude in 2025, followed by a potential extended hiatus. Subsequently, CERN aims to activate the LHC for a potential fourth run in 2029, boasting a collision rate that is 10 times higher than the current one. This ambitious plan reflects the continuous commitment to advancing our understanding of fundamental forces and particles in the universe. The extended fourth run is anticipated to continue until 2042, generating a colossal dataset ten times larger than its predecessor. Scientists aim to unravel fundamental mysteries, including the nature of the Higgs boson, the existence of particles beyond the standard model, the properties of dark matter, and the exploration of antimatter. Additionally, the inquiry into the core dynamics of plasma serves as a crucial aspect of this comprehensive investigation. The potential answers to these questions promise to revolutionize our future, influencing how we perceive and navigate the world. CERN's captivating and essential discoveries contribute significantly to our comprehension of the universe. This latest breakthrough sparks anticipation about the potential wealth of knowledge and discoveries that the future may unfold. It serves as a poignant reminder that science is an ever-evolving pursuit, continuously offering new avenues for learning and exploration. In the meantime, let us not lose sight of our collective goal as a species. We must push the boundaries for scientific advancement and better understand our universe. It is essential to balance these pursuits with considerations of human safety and morality. Only through such a balanced approach can we truly progress as a unified world. Thank you for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, Click on the video on your screen to see more mind-blowing videos like this one.